Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video on what's on my iPhone. So starting first, I have the Apple Watch app, which I use to sync with my Apple Watch. And that's actually current in, currently in the cloud. So anything that you see with a little cloud next to it is actually what's not installed on my iPhone at this time. Just to save space, sometimes when, you, when I install new Apple updates a lot of times you have to uninstall apps to make space and a lot of times I don't actually go back and reinstall the apps if I don't use them. Um, the activity app is the app that's used for actually syncing your Apple Watch up with your iPhone. It monitors your steps and your exercising goals and so forth. Um, Google AdSense, I'm not quite there yet. Once I get more subscribers and more views I'll be using that. Um, before I actually started the channel that I have now I did have an old channel um, that had a video on it that had like f four or five thousand views, but I deleted it and started over. I actually had it monetized and was making a little bit of money from it, but not much. But I decided to start over from scratch, and what I really wanted to do is see if I can reach the same goal as I did before and start with a fresh channel and see what I can do from there. So hopefully the channel takes off and I'll be able to go back and start using Google AdSense again. I do have Amazon Prime, so I use the Amazon app. When I have it installed, I use that. Uh, you love using the Amazon app. I use that quite often. A Chase app, I use that to uh, pay bills on. Checkbook register, I use that to keep track of the checkbook. Glass Dujo, um, that is used for my daughter's school and that help, keeps track of when, they, whenever they post new updates. Um, for their class and post pictures and stuff like that. Um, I'm able to get that right through my phone and sends me a notification. Google Drive, I use Google Drive. Uh, if you set up multiple Google accounts, you can actually use Google Drive to back up. You get so many gigs free. I probably have about maybe eight to 10 different uh, Google accounts and I use that to upload all my photos. Doesn't cost you anything to do that, so it's free. So all you have to do is just keep creating new Google accounts and remember your username and passwords and you can use that to back up all your files if you don't want to have to pay per month. A lot of places like Apple charge per month. It's usually like 99 cents a month to do stuff through um, through Apple Cloud, but I don't like using that, so I just kind of use Google Drive. It works for me. I have eBay, uh, Epic. Uh, my daughter uses Epic to actually read. She reads through Epic, and it keeps track of um, how much you read, how long you read for, and it sends notifications. I think it's monthly updates on um, how much the per, how much they actually read per month and how many pages they flipped and stuff. So it's kind of nice to keep track of it. You need to keep track for school. Some schools you have to log that information and you don't have to worry about trying to remember. It just sends it right to your email and this way you know. Uh, Fine Wine and Spirits, I use that for coupons. Uh, when I go to the spirit stores, I'm able to pull that up and they're able to scan it so we can use that. Uh, Net Genie, I do use Net Genie. Um, that controls through our router so if I want to block YouTube or Netflix through our network I'm able to do that so if uh, kids aren't behaving I'm able to go through and block it so they can't get on the smart TV. Gmail y'all y'all know what Google Mail is I'm sure you use it you got Google Maps. IGTV I use that through Instagram so sometimes when you post new videos you can use IGTV for that feature as well. I am on Instagram no surprise there it might be a surprise to some of you um, if I work with some of uh, work with some people and they don't have Instagram, I do have Instagram. So if you want to follow me, I'm one swaggy sf. You'll actually see the link to my YouTube information there as well. Um, I do put that on there. I did switch to a business account, so as of right now, I'm hooked up through a media uh, profile, so I'm able to um, do special things in the storyline where you can actually have it swipe up instead of them trying to figure out where YouTube videos are. They can just swipe up and it'll pull right into your YouTube channel, which is nice. My Verizon, I use that to track the data that we use through Verizon. Uh, you can pay your bill online, you can do things like that. Um, Chevy app, I use that. I can use that through OnStar. I can start the truck, shut the truck off. I can unlock windows, unlock doors, uh, all stuff like that. Uh, Netflix, of course, a lot of you know what Netflix is. You can stream through your cell phone. Pandora, use Pandora streaming music, uh, of course. Uh, PayPal, 
picture collage. Sometimes I do picture collages, not too often, but sometimes I do it on Instagram. Reddit, using that to help get the channel off the ground. I post, there's a couple of uh, subscriptions that I have online where I'm actually able to go through and they allow you to post your YouTube channel. If you're an upcoming YouTuber, you can post your channel on, on certain subscriptions. Um, if you're interested, uh, drop me a comment and I'll share some of those links to you if you're interested in advertising on certain certain channel uh, certain um, certain pages on Reddit, and you can do that through there. Shutterfly, uh, you can use that also if you start to run out of uh, space on your cell phone. You can upload all your stuff through Shutterfly. That's free too. Uh, TCC is how we control our thermostat. Of course, I have a Wi-Fi thermostat, which is nice. If you're away on vacay and you come back and you want to come down back to a hot house, you can go ahead and set your um, air conditioner on. Um, turn your heating off if you're away. This way you don't come come into a hot house or a cold house, whatever you want to do. TV app, I never use it. Um, you can watch TV th uh, through your internet provider never use it. Um, Tweetbox is a cool app. If you Google Tweetbox, you can do some fun things on some apps you have on your cell phone. It'll hack some apps and it'll give you some features that normal apps don't have. Um, so check that out if you want to check that out. Um, you do have to uh, trust that app on your iPhone. So if you don't know how to trust apps on your cell phone, reach out to me and I can help you out with that. It's no problem. I have Google Voice. I uh, like that through Google. I do have a free phone number through Google Voice. They actually discontinue that now. It's not a feature you can have now. So if you try to get a Google Voice phone number and you haven't used it in a while, it expires after a certain point. I was able to log back on and keep my phone number by sending a text message or something like that or using the phone to call somebody just so it's not dormant and it stays active. YouTube, I do have YouTube on here, of course. Um, main reason of this video, so I do have YouTube. So that's it, guys. I really don't have anything else on my phone. Um, let me know what kind of apps you guys have on your phone. I'd be interested to see what everybody has on their cell phone. Drop a comment. Um, as you can see, I do have a lot of emails. I have 118 emails I haven't checked. I don't check my emails too often, so I just screen them. I open up the important ones. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe.